Where'd they go? Where are we? The matrix is structured like a building. It rests atop a foundation that is built upon a substructure. We're standing in a programmer's maintenance passage. It is how I escaped. Escaped? I have been held captive in a chateau in the mountains by an exile named the Merovingian. He imprisoned me for my keys. You will find I lack the virtues of both tolerance and patience. Au travail. But even he cannot keep me from playing my part in what will come. My purpose I have seen is entwined with your own. What purpose? It's a very special key, meant only for the one. Will you bring it to him? What does it unlock? The future. Anyone moves, and her brains are Jackson Pollock. Drop it! <laughs> I see we're just in time. You didn't think we left that door unlocked by accident, did you? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think he did. Look at his face. That's just like a human. This mustn't happen. It already has. You must stop them. They'll ruin everything. What is so important about that key? The key is integral to the path of the one. Why don't you just make another one? Once it is used, it cannot be used again. They will bring about the end of everything. See if you can call Sparks from the roof. I know I should take you to the Merovingian, but the thing is, he might just kill you.
is impressive. I have other business to attend to. Until next time. <laughs>
Ah, I find myself in the room. Get your point.
turn my back for one second and you disappear into the mountains. What happened back Sparks, there? Sparks, I need your help. And Ghost needs yours. What? He's in pretty bad shape, Captain. They're holding him somewhere in the lower levels, but for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get there from where you are. There's something wrong with that place. The architecture is all screwed. Where's the last place you saw him before they took him to the lower levels? The library. <laughs> Show yourself, coward. I've been watching you. You're looking for your friend. But you will never find them. Then you're gonna help me. I can have this room full of my husband's men in a heartbeat if I wanted to. But that wouldn't serve either of us, would it? What do you want? A long time ago, I did not even know what that question meant. 
Now it is all I ever think about. I see that you care for your friend a great deal. If they were to die, you would feel such terrible pain. To be honest, I do enjoy the taste of tears. But there is something I enjoy so much more. You have it very deep inside you, hidden perhaps from yourself. But I see it there, creating such heat. Back off. You're in love, are you not? If you want me to help you, all you must do is kiss me as though you were kissing them. What? If you kiss me, as if you were kissing your true love, I'll tell you where your friend is. How about I shoot you in your kneecaps instead? You're not afraid to kiss a woman, are you? You're not a woman. You're not even human. It's just a little kiss. Or maybe you'd rather let your friend die. Fine. Oh, God, that was awful. I wish you had shot my kneecaps instead. Okay, wait. Don't waste my time. Your lover is a man. What's his name? Jason. No. No, it's not. But I'll bet Jason knows. Come with me.
You have earned your keep today, mon ami. And as for Zem, bon appétit. Idiot! Why'd you tell him about the key? What was I supposed to say? That we let the key maker out? You nitwit. I had the whole situation under control. He would have found out. He always does. He would have never found out. He would have deleted me. That's not a bad idea.
I apologize. I could not foresee that our paths were not meant to cross yet. This key will free you from the labyrinth. Until we meet again. No one leaves without his permission. <laughs>